Hey guys, Shifty here, and we're back with more Pokemon Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. And, you know what, before, before we get into the episode, I think I can do a quick little team recap. Let's see, we have Useless the Magikarp. That's not what I meant to click. So we have Useless the Magikarp with Splash. We have Boner the Marowak with Headbutt, Bone Club, Tail Whip, Growl. We have Big Bug the Yanma. Burger King and the Nido King. Body Slam, Tackle, Double Kick, and Poison Sting. And I'm realizing now I didn't read the attacks for Big Bug, which is just Tackle and Foresight. And uh, then we have the Egg and Naruto. Who is rocking out with Ember, Quick Attack, Confuse Ray, and Safeguard. And this is the entire team. This is it. We're really, really running a bare bones kind of team, but I fuck with it. Especially uh, Magikarp. If we can get that to a Gyarados in not too not too long of a time span, should be a uh, easy breezy beautiful cover girl. And before we get into like the meat and potatoes of the video, uh, why don't you guys leave a like? Or if if you find yourself like enjoying the video like a couple minutes in, leave a like. It really helps uh, the video like be put out to other viewers and be recommended to you more if you aren't already subscribed or anything. So it really helps. And it just means you can see more of this content if you like it. So, thank you. And I guess we can just, uh, get to talking about the game and shit. So yeah, I'm just gonna be grinding up Magikarp. That's basically the plan for this episode, is just grinding Magikarp. And making our way through, like, rock- not rock tunnel. I forget what this, uh, cave down here is. But it's just gonna be doing that. And then- oh, that's an encounter in there. And then there's a route outside of that cave that's also an encounter and then there's one after that so we'll also be getting some encounters today so maybe we'll change the team up a bit that'd be fun luckily no it wouldn't because i'm recording this very very late uh this is supposed to go out on thursday april 1st and it's currently wednesday uh march 31st at 10 p.m so I'm cutting it a little bit close, but it should be fine. So maybe I, maybe I won't make any team switches. Maybe maybe I'll just stay with this uh, this team we got rocking here because I'm not so sure I want to do too many edits on this one, if if at all possible. Because uh, more editing means means more time that I don't have to spend. So. Maybe, maybe not so many team changes. Alright, can I, can I stop hurting myself, please? That'd be epic. I'd like to really appreciate it. If I could just hit an attack, please. Just one. Please. Burger King, come on. What the hell is this? This is not king behavior. This is peasant behavior. Just like... Just use a move. Stop hitting yourself, you dumbass. Luckily, we're not taking much damage. Finally! Body slam this dog thing, bro. Please. Venomoth, right back out to Magikarp. Gotta get all the experience we can. Because he'll be evolving uh, not terribly far from this level. At level 20, it evolves. So, not too terribly long. Probably... Like around Goldenrod, I'd assume, if I keep Switch training, uh, very, uh, religiously. Probably by Goldenrod, I'd, I'd assume. A ho oh That's cool. Shit, I don't want to lose any Pokemon, man. That would fucking, that would fucking suck. Oh, and it's his level, it's his level 15 Pokemon, too. Oh, that's so cool. That's so funny. How his, his ace is, is a ho oh That's... That's so cool. Please, God, don't kill me. Alright, that does... Sac you've got- you've got to be sh Sacred Fire, you've got to be shitting me. Please. No. Oh my lord. Alright, someone's going down. Naruto, get out there. Yep, another Sacred Fire. Alright. 
So we're definitely losing someone here. Within the first, like, five minutes of the episode. Yep, there goes Naruto. Oh, our first death, too. That fucking sucks. Um, and then Big Bug. And then... Do I have anything? A full restore. Oh, my savior. And then... Rest in peace, Big Bug. Oh no, Big Bug survives! Um, I'm just gonna tackle him. Alright, see you later, Big Bug. You can't tell, but I'm saluting Big Bug. Thank you. For your sacrifice. And that's death number two. Awesome. And back out to Burger King. Please, get the para. Get the para, please. No! Don't burn. I think it's like a 50% chance to burn. Please don't burn. That's all I ask. Alright. We can't live another one. And that was... Was that their last Sacred Fire? Because it used one on Burger King. And then Nine Tails. And then two on Big Bug, and then another one just now. So I think it's out. Because I think... Sacred Fire only has 5 PP? I would assume so, because it's like a fucking busted move. Alright, I, th I think it's out. I am nearly positive it's out. Alright. This was not what I expected when I started recording. Yeah, I think it's out of uh, Sacred Fires. Thank Christ. That was fucking scary. So, two deaths in the uh, third episode. Not exactly how I wanted this to start off, but it's it's something. But we kept the main team intact of Magikarp, Marowak, and Nidoking, so... I'm not terribly upset. Honestly, Big Bug and Ninetales I caught in the last episode and they, they really didn't mean much to the team. They weren't really adding much to the team. Oh, I used the wrong move, damn it. It still kills. Dancer Pie. Absolutely cracked it out of his fucking mind. Alright, I think I'm just gonna leave the other fishermen alone, because apparently fishermen are just... are just fucking insane. I'm just gonna deposit, deposit my dead mons, and... just go into to the uh, cave. Uh, let's see. I need to change the box. I need to change it to box 2. Because the box system in this game really pisses me off. And then I have to deposit some Pokemon. Big. No. Naruto first. Deposit. See you, big dog. And big bug. See you, big dog. Thank you for your sacrifice. And then... Oh, wait, no. I need to switch the box back to box 1. So that if my team is full, any Pokemon I catch will be automatically sent there, and we can proceed. Alright. I really don't like how the box system is in the first two gens. It's it's really inefficient and slow, but... Uh, it'd be like that sometimes. Now, how many Pokeballs do we have is the real question. I have eight Pokeballs. I'm gonna hope that's enough. Uh, I'm going to get my encounter and then battle you. See, so yeah, I don't know what the name of this cave is. A nugget, that's actually so fucking good. See, so yeah, I forget the name of this cave, but it's a new encounter. It's a new place, and then the route outside of this is also new. A primate, that's not terrible. I fuck with a primate. Yeah, this will be, uh, decent. All right, let me just hit him with the uh, with the old poison sting. All right, that's that's quite a bit of damage. Like I get that I'm eleven levels higher than it, but like that that was a bit of damage, bro. Okay, okay, that's not very cool. Please, please just stay in the pokeball. I don't want to waste too long on this. It'd really mean a lot if you just stayed in the ball. 
one. Okay, come on. I believe in you, Primeape. I believe that you'll stay in the ball. Alright, it's definitely gonna be this one, though. Watch this. This is gonna be fucking insane. One, two, three. How'd I know? How did I know? It was because of my amazing mashing. I was mashing my fucking heart out. Primeape, the pig monkey Pokemon, 3 feet 3 inches and 71 pounds. If approached while asleep, it may awaken angrily, give chase, may awaken angrily, awaken, and angrily give chase in a groggy state of semi-sleep. So true. Um, Primeape. Oh, you actually, you know what, since today is the day that Kong, uh, or Godzilla vs. Kong came out, why not just name him Kong? What a beautiful nickname. And now we have Kong on the team. With Scratch, Leer, alright. Scratch, Leer, Low Kick, and Rage. Awesome, so... Oh yeah, that's gonna be more edits to make. Awesome, I have to remove two Pokémon from the layout, change the, uh... Death Counter, and then add Primeape to the team. Awesome. It's not that hard, but any work is more work than I'd like to do. But another team member is useful. It's definitely not not a terrible thing to have. Especially a Primeape, it's it's a decent Pokemon. I can't be too mad about it. And down goes the Lapras, easy clap. And Burger King level 18, just absolutely flying through, through these levels. For Alligator, right back out to Magikarp. Gotta get this fucking uh, Gyarados. Forgot the name there for a second, which is weird because that doesn't usually happen to me. But you know, it be like that sometimes. Sometimes you just you just don't do well at the things you thought you'd do good at. Rage does nothing, and this will one-shot, hopefully. Yes sir, easy peasy. Well, when you're like, three times its level, things are generally pretty easy to oko. And then, little baby Nidoran female. I like how the Nidoran, it says Nidoran, and then the female sign in the actual name, and then it also has the female sign, as if it could be... Feeder, Nidoran female, male. That's a weird thing I never noticed. And in today's episode, we got the cave, and the route below that, and then the route to the far left, which is like the forest. No, we definitely won't get to the, uh... I was gonna say the, um, the gym, because I forgot that there's the, uh, Team Rocket stuff in the Slowpoke well to do before that. So we might, like, get to that part. You might like battle the admin. That's that's probably as far as we'd go, I'd assume. Or probably as far as we'd get. Since we're already a little over 13 minutes into the episode. Alright, what else could we have gotten in here? Hopefully Primeape was like the best choice. Another Primeape. I'm looking for what we couldn't get though. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> This game is so nice, man. Fucking love this game. Even though it's, like, got the worst level curve ever out of, like, any Pokemon game. Still fucking love it. Love it to death. A Houndoom, huh. Like we ain't got a Pokemon for that. I don't even have to use my fighting type attack. I can just body slam this thing and it'll be done. Absolutely done. Cooked, even. Beneath my massive weight. Easy peasy. Hound Doom, more like Hound Dead. Alright, you guys can stop watching after that, I understand. That, that one was kinda bad. I, I can't I can't even lie to y'all, that was, that was kinda ass. And then, right back out to Burger King. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. I clicked out of the emulator. My bad. I might have clicked outside of the emulator. Terrible choice on my part. Terribly sorry. Uh, body slam my mans. 
And it's gone. Absolutely deceased. Useless level 13. So close to getting an attacking move. And a Skarmory. Alright. It's more the same. Rinse and repeat. Out to Magikarp, then back into Nidoking. Oh no, I accidentally clicked Splash. Shit. Uses Peck. We eat that though, right? Easy. Alright, that had me worried there for a second, because that's how I lost my Abra in the last episode. I accidentally misclicked Teleport, and then got fucked up by an unknown. <clears throat> fucked up by an unknown. Sorry. Mm, voice got a little scratchy there for a second. Weird. <clears throat> mm, my apologies. Damn it. I'm trying to get through here without an encounter. An Octillery? Bro, I kinda I kinda wanna fuck with an Octillery. Although we already have a water type that's uh, hopefully going to be useful at some point. Absolutely finesse that dude. Walk straight around him. Didn't even fucking see me. And I did it again. I'm just too sick with it. My movement in this game? Schnasty. My sh movement? Schnasty. I'm I'm cracked out of my goddamn skull with this game. Kingdra? That probably would have been the best encounter out of the ones I've seen so far. Primeape? I already forgot the other one. Octillery or a Kingdra. I think Kingdra would have been the best. The dual dragon and water type is, is cracked in this game. That's why Claire's Kingdra's uh, a menace. And a guard spec. I'm just going to sell these items. Because that's the Pokeball we got. Come on, man. I'm just trying to get past this dude. A tentacle as well. A lot of water type Pokemon in here. Which is ironic for it being, like, you know, a cave and whatnot. Although there are uh, bodies of water in here, so... I guess they could, like, hop up on land for some godforsaken reason. Would that be like jumping off of a building? In like fish terms, like jumping out of the water? Because like it, it basically amounts to the same thing, just like dying if if everything. Okay, okay, come on. I know that like okay, okay. Oh my god, that was scary. I thought I thought I thought my Nido King was gone. Might need a Pokemon for switching into Psychic types. Might have to invest into a Dark type Pokemon, to be honest. Um, as I was saying, a fish jumping out of water seems very close to a person jumping off a building. Like, it seems like both would most likely end up with the uh, with the uh, being dead. I would say so. Food for thought, to be honest. Food for thought. Is... Are fish jumping out of the water? Or is fish jumping out of the water the same thing as a person jumping off of a building? Let me know in the comments. If for some reason you're watching 18 minutes into the video, and you're also, you're also thinking about this, you're also wondering about this, let me know in the comments. Agree, disagree. Oh my god, what the fuck what the fuck am I saying? I'm playing Pokemon and I'm fucking talking about Hmm, is fish jumping out of the water the same as a person jumping off of a building? What the fuck am I doing, man? I'm just laying in my bed rambling to myself. Which is insane. Under normal circumstances, I would be put in a mental hospital. But now I'm recording it, so it's content. Which is just amazing. It's, it's an easy loophole for staying out of the psych ward. Okay, that water gun doing a bit of damage. What's your deal, Octillery? Or another water gun. You need to stop. You need to be stopped. 21 to 9. Okay, body slam. Don't miss. Appreciate it. I think we need to invest in some potions. Because... Maybe even some super potions, if possible, because... That was a little, little dicey. I wasn't particularly fond of that damage output. Well, let me get up in here and sell some stuff. 
Let's see, I don't need gold leaf. Sell that shit. Uh, Miracle Seed, Light Blue Mail, fuck that. Nugget, definitely sell that. Just doubled my money. And I don't need the mail or the guard spec, and now let me buy some shit. Pokeballs, let's see, I have like seven-ish, so I'll buy eight. Oh, and we can buy Super Potions, let's go! I think five of them hoes, and then some potions as well. Let me check my stocks. Let's see. Potions, 6. I fuck with that. Super Potions, 5. Pokeballs, 14. Good numbers all around. And now we can get our encounter down here. And uh, see what it is. Hopefully it's something good that I can catch. Hopefully it's good and catchable. It's a mischievous. Alright, or Mistrevis. That's not terrible. Oh, I didn't heal up Burger King, alright. That's that's definitely a way to play Pokemon, yeah, not healing up your Pokemon. Mistrevis would give me a switch into uh, Psychic types. So this isn't a terrible catch. Not the best one, because it doesn't evolve in this game, and it's also just, like, bad, but... And we also might not be able to catch it because I can't weaken it because, um, well, no, I can, but, like, I'd rather not use one of the hyper po not hyper potions, super potions I just bought on my King that I forgot to heal for a mischievous, especially, because, like, oh, is this Psywave going to kill me? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. All right, I just... Mash my fucking heart out. One. Okay. I'm just gonna dip. A mischievous isn't that important. It's not gonna, like, make or break my team, I don't think. Honestly, I think Gyarados Nidoking is a perfectly fine pair of Pokemon to get through this game with. And while I am remembering it, let me heal. Because this is important. And then I can just go to the next route over, the forest and do that, then we can do the Team Rocket uh, well stuff, and that should take us basically to the end, I think. Um, I feel like you... Okay, no. No, is it not you? Is it you? I could have sworn one of these uh, NPCs gave me, like, an item. Alright, where's my encounter, please? I would really appreciate one. There it is. Alright, 11 Pokeballs, what is it? A Togepi! Alright, that's... That's kinda dog. Um, do I want to catch a Togepi? It's at best gonna be a Togetic, which is... Which is not that good. If, if this game had Gen 5, or Gen 4 Pokemon, Togekiss, uh, you know, I might, I might catch this thing for, but... Togetic, I don't, I don't know about that one. I didn't mean to double kick, I meant to poison sting. So we're not getting the Togepi either way. Alright, saves me on editing, so. That's fine. Alright, so. Kind of biffed the encounters, but they weren't anything too crazy, to be honest. I don't think I'm missing out on much. Ayo. Hey, the Team Rocket people are at the well. You gotta go handle that shit, big dog. And then he just does. Or tries to, at least, and because he, he fails. He just fucking runs over and then, like, hurts his back or some shit. What a pussy. What's wrong, big dog? Hey there, Shifty. The guards up top took off when I shouted at them, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats, if, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, uh, it can't be helped. Shifty, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Alright. Oh, this is also a new encounter, Slowpoke Well. It's a Diglett. Another ground type, a third ground type, but it's... It's pretty fast. It's a lot faster than Nidoking, so... I think it's actually worth a shot catching this. Dugtria would be good, it's fast as hell. And Earthquake uh, would be hitting like a bitch, though. One, two, three. 
It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Diglett the Mole Pokemon, 8 inches and 2 pounds. Its skin is very thin. If it is exposed to light, its blood heats up, causing it to grow weak. Isn't that, like, isn't blood supposed to be warm, though? Like, there's cold-blooded cold animals, but, like, they need to be warmed up to move. How is warm blood making it weak? You know what? There's there's probably some scientific bullshit reason. Um, Diglett's name, though? He's obviously... Doug. Obviously Doug. I mean, there's just no other option. And back to a full team we are, with Scratch and Growl, Doug. Doug is just rocking out with Scratch and Growl. The old Scratch and Growl method. I remember learning about that when I first started Pokemon. I mean, if anything, it's just another Pokemon to sack if we need it to. If we need to. Alright, Kingdra. Not a huge fan of that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of water types with my uh, ground type Pokemon here. Luckily, he is somehow over leveled as hell. I'm not sure how this happened, to be honest. Like I caught him early on, and now he's just fucking steamrolling. But I can't complain. I mean, this is how they do uh, generation one one speed runs. So, I mean, there's obviously got to be some sort of a uh, something good about Nidoking. I just know it gets, like, it has a very wide move pool, and it's decently powerful. Like, it's still used in competitive uh, Pokemon today, so that's not something many Gen 1 Pokemon can say, outside of, like, Mewtwo, Mew, and, uh, well, there's 151 of them, so I can't exactly name all of them, but... Charizard, the starters still see some play to an extent. Mostly Venusaur, I'd say. I think it's like Venusaur, then close second to Charizard. And you don't see much Blastoise. Which is unfortunate, because... Not because Blastoise is my favorite, but like, Blastoise deserves some, some spotlight as well. But I'm glad that Venusaur, my personal favorite, also gets some sunlight. Quite literally, because its uh, ability Chlorophyll uh, doubles its speed in sunlight. And also makes uh, Solar Beam a one-turn move. And it's it's decently well in Sun. Which is ironic because it's weak to Fire-type moves, which the Sun boosts, but... You know, it'd be like that. And then Charizard is just like a special attacker in the Sun because of Solar Power, which is like... Well, it gives a certain amount of attack boost. I'm not sure what the percentage modifier is. But you you get a special attack boost at the cost of some of your HP each turn. So you can deal out a pretty good chunk of damage. And it got the uh, the G-Max first. So, the first of the Kanto starts to get the G-Max. So, of course, it's going to be at least decent. I think it was also, like, released before all the other Gen 1 starters. So, kind of gives it an unfair edge. But that Calcium, I will be selling that for some cash. Make sure we get nice and stocked up on items, because we have... Um, well, we have this admin battle that I'm probably going to do now. I'm not going to run back and heal. And then we have the uh, rival fight as well, if we try to walk out of the uh, city limits. We get stopped by a rival and it's like, hey... You, you fucking suck at Pokemon, I only use strong Pokemon, you use weak Pokemon, you're a fucking idiot. And then he's like, battle me. And then we fucking mop the floor with him and he's like, damn it, these Pokemon are too weak. And somehow, somehow he just keeps telling himself every time that, oh, these Pokemon are weak, I have to go get stronger Pokemon. And that's like his whole character is like searching for strong Pokemon, and then by the end he doesn't even end up with strong Pokemon. Which is kind of sad, like he carries a starter even though it consistently loses all the battles it's been in, to us at least. And then he's like, no, I gotta, I gotta stick with the starter Pokemon. Doesn't really fit the character, he should like... He should kind of be like in from uh, Black and White. So that he has like Pokemon from like each part 
of the region that, like, he travels through. So, like, he picks up one Pokémon and he's like, oh, this one's pretty powerful. Let me take this one, because he only likes strong Pokémon. And then by the end, he has, like, you know, an actually good team. Even though he does have, like, a decent team at the end of the game. If I remember correctly, he's, like, a Crobat, uh, the starter he chose, and, um... Magneton? Does he have a Magneton? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played these games vanilla. But we are taking on the admin, the Team Rocket admin, in the, uh, well, with five minutes to spare. So we might either get into the gym or do the, uh, the rival battle. One of those will probably be happening. But, uh, Magikarp got to level 15 and learned the move Tackle. The third move it will ever learn as a Magikarp. Because Magikarp only gets, like, three moves. Splash, Tackle, and then some other move that I'm forgetting right now. But it's, it's just those three. And it can't learn any TMs or HMs. And that's why you have to evolve it. That's also another really good Pokemon, is Gyarados. Very, very good Pokemon. And then Kurt comes in here and checks on all the slow pokes, and he's like, Hey, yo, where are their tails? And he's like, oh, no worries, it'll grow back. But for now, we can heal, and I think, I think taking on the rival would be better. Because we can take on the rival, then heal, and then the next episode will be the gym episode. And I think that'll be about the entire episode. Let me just walk on over here. Oh, wait. Oh, you almost got me there. You almost got me there, big guy. Let me come in here and sell my calcium beforehand. Because I want some more potions. Yeah, let me sell that calcium to you. And how many potions do I have? I have six potions. Let me buy up four more potions. And perhaps some more super potions. Thank you, sir. I'll be on my way. Now it's time to battle our rival. If this bitch would get out of my way. I hate when NPCs walk in front of you. Such a bullshit thing that happens. Oh, hello. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What, you beat them? Ha, quit lying. You're not joking? Let's see how good you are. Alright, bro. I mean, if I haven't beat your ass before, do it again. Sit on a pillow swine. Alright, big bro. I'm not fond with your with your Pokemon choices. Pillow one's a little little scary. Alright, he just goes for dumbass horn attack instead of like a ground type move. What an idiot. Catch this double kick right in your fucking dumb face, bro. Right in that fucking snout. Yeah, get out of here. Guess what? You just went extinct again. A man teen. Why is he why is he packing all these Pokemon that are super effective against my Nido King? Not a huge fan, man. Not not too happy with your with your choices there. Especially Manti, because this thing's just fucking fat as hell special side. On the special side, the special defense is fucking insane for some reason. I don't know what possessed the the balancers of the game to make it so fucking fat, but they did. Oh, but we get the para. Let's go. Yeah, catch that full paralysis, big dog. I'm confused. Don't hit yourself, please. Let's go. Nido King the goat. The actual G-O-A-T. And last but not least is Persian. Where I can just switch out to my cat. Or my uh, fish against a cat. Which is somehow a, a winning matchup at the moment. And then switch back out to my weird, like, Rhino Kaiju thing, because I'm pretty sure, uh, at least from what I've heard, Nidoking's based on an old Kaiju. I just don't know which one, because I'm not a huge fan of Kaiju. Which is ironic to say, because I mentioned uh, Godzilla vs. Kong in today's episode, which are technically Kaiju. But I'm not, like, huge into it. It's just like, hey, big box office movie, Big Monkey vs. Big Lizard. 
and that, that's about all I know about the movie. I've seen a couple reviews about it. It's mostly just, like, the human dialogue is shit, but the fights are pretty cool. And that's basically what I've gleaned from it. From it. But with that is the end of the episode, just over 35 minutes. And a good episode overall, I'd say. I think this is a pretty good episode. And if you made it 35 minutes in and are still watching, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Because, I mean, if you made it for 35 minutes in, if I could speak correctly, uh, you obviously enjoyed it. So I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you leaving a like or a comment or subscribing, anything, really. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.